there. Welcome to my office. My name is Dr. Calliope. How are you doing today? Okay. I hope by the time you leave this office, you feel even just the littlest bit better. So, let me see here. Alright. Do you mind just confirming your name and date of birth for me? Very good. And is that your preferred name? And how do you like to be addressed? Okay. Very good. Thank you. So it looks like today we are doing a precaution and auscultation examination. Is that correct? Okay. Any particular reason? why you wanted this exam? Okay. Very good. Right. Do you have any current pain or illness going on? No. Okay. Alright. And any changes to the medical history we have on file here? No? Oh, good. Very good. And what about your family history? Any changes there? No? Perfect. Good to hear. And what about your allergies? Any changes with those? No? And your medication list, are there any changes to that at all? No? Okay. Very good. All right. So, our auscultation and percussion examination today is going to primarily use two different tools. The first is going to be the stethoscope. That's going to be our our main star of the show. And the other tool that I'm going to use doesn't exactly seem like it would be a tool that we would name is my hands. More specifically, when we do percussion, I'm going to be placing my hand on different parts of your body and with the other hand, I tap onto my hand. I listen to the sounds that echo back. That tells me if an area is hollow or if there's fluid and I can listen to the quality of sound to ascertain what exactly in that area. Sometimes you get the hollow sound, sometimes you get more of a stony, dull sound. Just depends on what area we're on and what exactly we're looking for. Okay? So, the auscultation is going to be the main first step and then we'll move on to percussion. When we do auscultation, we are focusing on the lungs, the heart, and the abdominal area. I can also do our percussion on all of these areas as well, but with percussion, we're mostly focusing on the lungs and the abdomen, okay? Any questions so far? It's not going to have any pain involved. 
It may feel a little strange to have someone just tap, tap, tapping on your chest and your abdomen, but I'm really only using enough force just to make sure that I can hear the sound echoing back, so it's not something that'll be painful. Maybe a little weird, but definitely not painful, okay? And if it is, you just let me know. All right. Any other questions? Okay. So, I'm not going to need any gloves for this examination, and I'd like to ask if, from this point forward, if I can touch you for the purposes of this examination, if that's okay with you? Excellent. Thank you so much. So, we're going to start with our auscultation. I'm just going to grab our stethoscope here. going to be popping that in. So, generally, when we use our auscultation technique, we have a stethoscope that has both the diaphragm and also generally on this side they have a bell. And these different, these different tools are used to look for different frequency sounds. One of them is much better at picking up low frequencies, and the other more with high frequencies. I just have a diaphragm here, but for the purposes of this exam, I think this will do just fine, okay? If you have any concern, we can always do another one down the line where I have a more dual purpose stethoscope, okay? All right, so I'm gonna come in real close here and we're gonna start by taking a little listen to your lungs, okay? So I'm gonna start here at the top and I'm just going to have you take a deep breath in for me and out. The other side, deep breath in, and out. And a little bit down, deep breath in, Get up by the clavicles here. Deep breath in for me. And out. Okay. Deep breath in. And out. Good. Let's come around to the side. Deep breath in. And out. The other side. Deep breath in. And out. Good. And let's 
go ahead and run through that again, okay? I'm going to place my stethoscope here. Take a deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. breath in and out deep breath in and out deep breath in side here. Let's do that one more time, okay? Do you need a little break? Getting any lightheadedness? Okay, very good. So, start right here. Take a deep breath in for me. And out. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. breath in and out okay deep breath in and out good deep breath in Just going to take a moment and you just breathe normally, catch your breath a bit. I 
just like to note down a little bit. a mated pair of morning doves that we've had around here for over a year. They're always, always eating together, always drinking out of the bird bath together. It's real, really something sweet. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and continue. And this time I'm going to listen around your heart. So, your heart primarily going to focus in this area here. I'll come around a little bit to the side as well, but mostly, mostly focusing here, okay? During this, I want you to just breathe normally for me. You don't have to take deep breaths or anything, okay? So, we start with the aortic valve and we just stay here and listen. Just listening for the sound, the rhythm. go to tricuspid valve. And the mitral. Heart sounds nice and slow. Slow and steady. I don't know about you, but oftentimes, oftentimes when I am getting an examination, I'm just going to listen to the side of, of your chest here. I'm getting an examination. No matter what I do, even if I don't think I'm feeling any anxiety, I have a racing heart that never stops. <laughs> My personal record was, I believe, 110 beats per minute last time I went. Yeah, the, uh, the nurse asked if that was normal for me. And I said, when I go to the doctor, yeah, but 110 is a personal record. Okay, I'm going to listen to Herb's point here. Just keep breathing normally for me. find the apex beat here. So this is the mid-clavicular line, and I'll count one, two, three, four, five intercom. 
hostile spaces down. And listen to that again. We'll start with the aortic. Nerves point. And the apex bead, which we had pegged right about here. time. Start with the aorta here. Husband. point and the apex beat right here. going to auscultate our final part of the body and that's going to be your abdomen, your digestive organs. So there are nine main areas that I listen to. So you'll kind of just feel the stethoscope going around in a bit of a systematic pattern. 
So I'm just going to pop that in. This will be a little quicker than the than the other auscultations. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to have you breathe normally for me. I'm just going to take a listen. Mostly intent on listening around the abdomen. There's a lot to listen for in this part. But I'm just going through, going through again. different areas, making sure the right sounds are in the right place. loop around the bend. three here. Excellent. All right, we can put that away. Just good. After a while, that stethoscope starts to feel real constricting. Let's see. Okay. So now we start in on our percussion. As I had mentioned before, percussion is going to involve me placing my hand in different areas and tapping on my finger that's laying on the area I want to listen to. So you don't have to do anything special, okay? Just keep breathing normally for me. And I'm going to start in the chest cavity, chest wall, and then we will do your abdomen as well, okay? Alright, so 
I like to start right about here and I'm just going to be tap, tap, tapping, okay? No fun fact. Your lungs have five lobes in total. Your right lung has three lobes. Your right lung is bigger than the left. It's also heavier than the left. Your left lung has to share space with your heart. So it's a little smaller and only has two lobes. Know another fun fact? It didn't used to be that doctors were so gentle with the percussion. They used to not buffer it at all. Basically just hitting on their patients. Medicine has come very far in a very short time. It used to be much more painful to get an examination. Nowadays, we try to keep your comfort in mind. At least the good ones. A sudden, just slam on you if I don't like you. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Good. Okay. Very good. Let's go ahead and do that along your abdomen. Okay, so when we use percussion here, oftentimes we're going around 
borders of organs. I mean, it's a lot, it's a lot more involved than when we do the auscultation, okay? There's a lot of organs here. We're not dealing with, you know, a couple of, a couple of, um, sacks full of fluid. We're dealing with many sacks full of fluid, to put it indelicately. So, there's a lot more, a lot more percussion with the abdomen, all right? But again, it should feel quite similar to the chest wall. It might feel just a touch more force because it's on soft tissue rather than bone, right? The bony prison that is your ribs. So, just keep that in mind. Keep breathing normally, okay? All right, just let me know if you need a break. One last go around. I'll do it. It's lots of little taps. All right. Okay, very good. It'll just take me a moment to write down my findings. All right.
All right, so I know I've made you wait for a second regarding the findings, but believe me, if there was something wrong, I'd tell you before I wrote it down. So that all sounded great. Your lungs sounded free and clear. It doesn't sound like there's any fluid buildup anywhere, and upon percussion, it doesn't sound like there is any dullness, any stoniness in the lungs as well, which is good. I didn't hear any crackles or any wheezing when we were doing our auscultation. Your heart sounds strong and steady. I didn't hear any signs of any murmurs, okay? And that was across all the valves, all the areas. Very strong. Sounds like you've got a good heart in you. And your abdomen, I heard all the normal digestive sounds. Doesn't seem to be any fluid where there's not supposed to be any. Contours were normal. Everything sounded quite, quite textbook perfect, I think. Okay? Alright, do you have any questions for me? Yeah, I think the, uh, the feeling of having your, your abdomen tapped on many times, that'll go away shortly. It doesn't really have any effect on your abdomen, save for maybe you'll get a few rumbles. Other than that, there's nothing really, <laughs> there's nothing really harmful to it, okay? All right, anything else? Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sign off here. Very good. And that will end our auscultation and percussion examination. Thank you so much for coming to my office to have this examination. I hope that you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night. Thank you.